just got back from a meeting at the SDSU campus um, for grad school. I went and talked to a current grad student while I was there. I don't like it when this is on my screen while I'm talking to you, so I'm going to move it. There we go. So um, a couple of things that came up. Um, pretty awesome. It's hot. I walked home from it. I went to, um, it's, I don't know how long far I walk is. It's like at least two miles, probably more. A couple of things came up. So like SDSU is where I'm hoping to go. I'm on this journey for sure about where I want to go and all that good stuff. So I'm trying to figure it all out. Got a message. It's going to be interesting. What do I want to say to you? Basically, I wanted to talk to you about, um, this is going to be a beginning of a journey on my grad school kind of adventure, seeing what happens, where I end up going, all that stuff. I live in San Diego, as you know, and it'll either be SDSU is kind of my first choice, or UCSD maybe, if, um, or I don't know what other options there are around the area, so I'll be checking it out as time goes on. But I also wanted to talk to you, well... The point, the thing that came up for me is another idea of making art for art's sake versus going through this tract of school to have a career um, came up again and um, career as opposed, like being a professor of art, right? And the thing that came up was since I'm 40 years old and I'm trying to figure this thing out, I was thinking like, what... I was told that what happens basically as a 40 year old, it's harder to get tenure in a college. And I don't know if I'm personally even care about the whole idea of getting tenure um, out of school, but what I do want to do is teach at a university, you know? And I don't know if there like is options to teach, teach without necessarily having to do tenure. I'm not quite sure how that works out, but I'm, I'm learning as I go. So it was interesting for me to be confronted with that, like, oh, ageism, maybe, possibly, that universities will less likely to hire you as a tenured teacher because you are older. So something that definitely is in my noggin now, but I don't, honestly, I don't really care because the, the point for me, what I'm trying to do, what I think I can do is, like, basically just become the best artist I can and maybe through this process I can just knock it out of the park it, the, the whole teaching idea might not even be a factor but it would be cool to be associated with a university I don't know we'll see how time goes on I'll keep you posted on on that whole thing and how it plays out I do want to also talk to you a little bit about the 500 subscriber thank you slash giveaway so this here this is the road to Glastonbury journal which you know, that's a whole nother ball of wax to tell you about, um, which I'll tell you in a second. But basically, I would just want to say thank you to those of you that are watching this video because you are have been subscribing to the channel and you actually like all the videos that I post or you at least check them out and see if there's something you actually want to spend time watching. And I know that most of you don't watch all the videos and that's cool. I don't care. But it's really awesome that those of you that do it is it's just awesome but as you know YouTube has decided to change their criteria for what it means to be a partner to YouTube and so because of that I decided not to do a giveaway I'm thanking you right now thank you very much for being a subscriber and coming back and watching these videos but I decided not to do a giveaway because um, I just can't afford it and I'm I was kind of relying on the fact that I would be making some money off this channel right now I make about $25 a month on this channel, but YouTube doesn't pay you out until you hit a $100 threshold. So I don't know how that's going to play out because February 20th, this month, is when the hammer goes down and anybody that doesn't have the 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time is no longer a partner and is just a creator making videos and trying to work toward becoming a partner again. And that's where I'm at in a way. I'm working toward becoming a partner again and I've decided to email every single person on my Facebook friends list. I have about 4,000 friends and I'm emailing every single one of them until Facebook gives me a hard time and makes, tells me to stop. I'm emailing them so to get my numbers up because I got the watch time. Thank you very much for that. It's all because of you watching my videos. That's awesome. I need to get the subscriber count up 
and I'm doing it. I think I can do it. I might not be able to do it by the February 20th threshold, but I think I can do it shortly thereafter. So I'm pretty stoked on that because as of recording this, I'm at 590 subscribers, so I need 410 more, which it just, I mean, I, sh I could be past five, four, six hundred by the time you see this or whatever, but by, while I'm recording this, I don't know. So we'll see how that plays out. So I'm, I'm doing that. But until, until I'm guaranteed to be a partner again, maybe I'll, uh, I'll, I'll definitely do a giveaway at the thousand dollar mark. But for now, the giveaway at the five hundred dollar mark is just not happening, um, unfortunately. So that's what's been going on with that. And then, so the road to Glastonbury, obviously... Since I'm not going to be, since I'm going to grad school, and it's really changed up my approach to how I'm gonna be doing my life for a while, I um, I don't think I'll be, um, I don't think I'll be uh, focusing very much on <laughs> focusing. You see how I did that? Focusing on the music in the same way. I mean, it's still very important and it's still something I plan on doing and spending a lot of time with, but I don't, it's going to change. And I think I've probably already mentioned this in previous Road to Glass Mirrors. The goal is still to have music be a very important part of my life and keep doing it, keep making it. I have this year, 2018, I'll have multiple songs being published um, because I've had, uh, 2017, I started this process and, and got things going, but right now in 2018 it's my focus is paying off my debt figuring out what i have to do to get into grad school and doing things and i'll be sprinkling music here and there music will be a part of my artistic journey for sure but i just i really feel good about this choice to shift gears in a way for now and just feel out and figure out what my art will what where that'll take me and i think it'll take me in a pretty rad place so I'm excited for you to continue on this journey with me and keep going with me because um I think it'll be fun I think it's gonna be fun doing this thing together you you and me and and of course grow this channel I, I plan to document everything I'm gonna document my process through going to grad school I'm gonna document um, everything I'm doing and just hopefully you find it interesting enough to subscribe to the channel and follow along and comment comments are my option comments are what makes it happen so I'd love to interact with you. If you have any questions for me about this journey that I'm on, I'd love to talk to you about it. Um, but I think that's, oh, do you, want, do you want me to play a song? Why not, why not I play a song? I'll play a song. Okay, remember how this works? Microphones on now. I'll play a song. I haven't practiced this. I'm just doing this raw, no practicing. See how it goes. All right, here we go.
react to the camera, mic, two, three, three things about that. Didn't practice it, messed up a little bit, and I didn't tune my guitar. So hopefully you still enjoyed it. Um, all right, that's called uh, and four things. And I kind of left out the swear word that I would put in. It's effed up on you, you know. Anyways, that's what the song is. I remember when I wrote the song and played the song, it was uh, at a time like close to my divorce. And my um, mom actually thought that it was an angry song, but it's actually more of a love song. It's kind of one of those weird things. Toward the people, toward the the new infatuations, rather than the ex. Does that make any sense? But all right. So anyways, I think that's good. Thanks for watching the Zooms video. This is um, my Road to Glastonbury journal. And um, yeah, check out the first few videos if you want um, on what Road to Glastonbury means. I'll put it in the description of uh, of this video. I'll put the the you know the put in the description. I'll put the link to the first one so you can check it out, um, or you can just kind of mess around on my video channel and find them for yourself. But um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm the Zim. Be sure to thumb up the video if you're digging on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're digging on it. And um, yeah, I'm excited to keep this journey going with you. Um, all right, peace. Then uh, remember to post comments if you want to um, ask me any questions. I'm, I'm down. I love it.